hello everyone and today in our lecture we will learn about recursive functions so recursive functions help us to break down complex problems into simpler and more manageable parts what is recursion recursion occurs when a function calls itself to solve a problem so i have a example code over here that uh, basically calculates the factorial of a number that we input or the user inputs let me do the user input thing rather than just a predetermined number let me do this num and then it will take the thing over here so cursive function basically call themselves and then they for just give out the thing the answer to us they have two parts one is the base case this is our base case and this is our recursive case as you can see it's calling itself it's taking the integer n from here and then subtracting it and then calling itself basically it just kind of loops itself it goes until the like it's going until n is less than 1 less than or equal to 1 okay so basically we are calculating factorial of the integer n if the if like this is going to just keep on multiplying then value n it's somewhat similar to what we do like uh, for example we do like n multiply by uh, we basically what we do we make a for loop which uh, just keeps on going and decreases the number of n okay so it basically just multiplies with the decreased number that was decreased by the while loop once then again and again and again till that so basically it's decreasing the amount of n by one and till n is less than one so this is the recursive case this is going to keep on going on this is the base case this is gonna factor check that the condition is true or not okay so basically it's gonna return n to one one to n and then it will be basically multiplied by one till and then it will just stop so now let's start like run the code let me add 10 and its factorial is this so let's do another one let's do factorial of 3 oh, right, right. Okay. 3 which is 6 See, like basically 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 okay so let's do another one just for practice uh, let's do 5 and it's 120 so this is recursion functions these what are recursion functions so basically what are the pros or cons of this recursion is that these basically help us in the simplifying the code instead of we write a big uh, whole while loop of uh, just decreasing the value and then multiply it with that we just basically just write it like this and then we get our answer easily instead of making it even more complex so this is all that you had to know about recursion functions and i hope I will see you in the next one.